You know, no woman should be out here praising the likes of a Lori Harvey. And what makes it so tragic is the fact that you have so many women of all different ages, all different backgrounds, really praising somebody like Lori Harvey. And the reason why they are praising her is because she is doing seemingly what a lot of, you know, these guys are out here doing to women. And with Lori Harvey, quote unquote, taking her power back by dogging men out and treating men just as bad, if not worse, than a lot of the low vibrational, no good men y'all like, do y'all, it gives them some sense of satisfaction. Before we get into it, and big shout out to Big Brother O'Shea. Um, I saw his video that he did a few days ago about Lori Harvey. And I said, you know what? We got to talk about it because this is trash, right? But let's go here for a second, you all. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. The part that a lot of these women right? And I use the term women very loosely, okay? Because real women, we don't act like this. We don't condone this. We don't prioritize this. We don't idolize this, but okay. When it comes to a lot of these women that are celebrating a Lori Harvey, um, it is because they like a particular type of guy that is no good, that is not there to love on them, respect them, take care of them, none of it, right? And since they go after that type of guy, and more than likely those type of guys will dog a woman out and will disrespect her, will cheat on her, right? Will use her. When they see a woman doing men dirty, so to speak, it's like, yes, I'm finally able to get my lick back on those men out there that dog me out. But ladies, let's be honest. When it comes to the good quality men, y'all are not checking for them. When it comes to the men that will actually take you seriously, would actually love you, uh, commit to you, you don't want them at all. They're lame to you. They're boring to you. They're predictable. You like to live your life on the edge. And so you go after the guys that will give you that toxic excitement. Right? Let's be honest. And before you know it, you're bitter, you're broken, you're alone. Wishing that, again, you can get your lick back. And so when you see a Lori Harvey type doing these men dirty, it's like, yes, she's our queen. But is she? Is she, though? Lori Harvey is out here, from what I can observe right now, struggling. And I'm going to get into it. And... Unfortunately, this will be the fate for a lot of you chicks out there if you do try to pattern yourself after the likes of a Lori Harvey. I get it, ladies. These men dogged you out. These men disrespected you. These men didn't take you seriously. I get it. But again, let's focus on the type. Stop going after no good guys because you feel like that's more appealing to you or exciting to you or attractive to you and get a grip. Then maybe you can stop being bitter, broken, and alone. But let's get into y'all queen. Because from what we can see, she's been presented with guys that were well-to-do. Men that actually wanted to marry her, settle down with her, take her seriously. So why is she dogging them out again? Why is she fumbling them again? 
And the catch to it all is the fact that Lori Harvey, if she is not careful, which is looking like she's not, will end up just like a lot of y'all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. Let's get into this. And again, shout out to uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Y'all feel free to go on over to his platform to watch this video in its entirety. But I just clipped out, you know, a few parts that I wanted to highlight. Okay. So right here, he's talking about how you have certain individuals in society, right? To where they're always being presented with the best. And they're always uh, having certain opportunities to experience different things that are ideal and how some of them take advantage and take for granted just how lucky, quote unquote, they really are. Lori Harvey being one of them, because once again, she's had some of the top tier men that she just does not want to act right with. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And when it comes to all of those ladies who are struggling in dating, there's always somebody who's not. And that person is Lori Harvey, from Michael B. Jordan to P. Diddy, allegedly, the future to Meek Mill, to anybody in between. Lori Harvey is having it her way at all times. Anybody she wants, she gets. And as soon as she dumps one guy, another guy comes down the block. And this has inspired so many young black women around the world who want to be just like her. And you will hear it in this video here. Why Lori Harvey is the prize. I feel like Lori Harvey is an it girl. She is someone who is highly desired by men. And I think that she emulates prize energy in her frequency and vibration, not only by the way that she looks, because I feel like there's so many different beautiful women in the world, but they aren't always emulating that prize energy because they are male identified. And so they tend to give their power away to men because they feel like they have to kind of submit to men in order to get that full commitment but in actuality it's the exact opposite is that is that so though right she's out here talking about you know um lori harvey she has this prize energy and you know you don't have to submit to a man and you don't have to respect a man and you can just dog them out and that's what makes her the it girl and this that, and the third no absolutely not what i see and we're gonna get into it what i see is a young beautiful woman that is overplaying her hand that's what i see this is not an it factor girl this is not a woman that you know a, a real quality man of substance will really want to settle down with and be with especially after getting to know her and, and, and really see who she is as a person, which clearly she is the type that wants to dominate, control, right? Be the center. Oh, you bow down to me. Oh, after all, I am the prize. You're so lucky that I'm in, even entertaining you. She's that type. And then to see the amount of guys that she has been with, yeah, a real quality man of substance, morals, and value, absolutely not. Right? They're going to see an instant liability when it comes to a Lori Harvey. So, again, how is she a prize again when it's looking like she's fumbling and tumbling? Being a pass around or... Uh, in y'all's words, no, she's not being passed around. She's passing men around. Okay, we can we can say that too to make you feel better. Being a chick that passes men around, and we already know, ten times out of ten, she giving up the goodies. Let's not pretend, okay? But again, to even witness a woman conducting herself like that, do you really feel like? A man that you would really want to be with, that she would really want to be with. Do you really think that they would accept that type of female to be a part of their equation, a part of their program? When she clearly is all over the place, she's clearly reckless. She clearly does not take into a, a account or consideration, you know, things that could come about from this image. Let's be clear. Men that have 
a lot to lose men that have things to offer a woman their name is very important to them because they work so hard to establish themselves and so when you come across a chick like lori harvey to where her image is not that great and people can perceive her to be a pass around type of energy he's gonna steer way clear of that oh you're with the with the chick that has a bunch of men in rotation are you in her rotation too that can make a man look very weak so be careful what y'all are idolizing, talking about, oh, she's a prize because, you know, she's not submitting to these men and she's doing what she wants to do and she has this and she has that. Be careful with that because a lot of guys see a woman like this as a liability because she will be somebody that is more stubborn, more bossy, more reckless. Y'all like the video? Y'all know we talked to some real talk. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's continue. I'm going to take it back just a little bit. Kind of submit to men in order to get that full commitment. But in actuality, it's the exact opposite. A man must devote himself to you and compete to win you over. Because as a prize woman, there isn't a lot of you to go around. You are exclusive. And prize women, they have no problem with leaving situations that aren't serving her. And I think that a lot of people had negative opinions of Lori Harvey stating that she's for the streets or that she's a woman who was passed around in the entertainment industry. But I think that Lori Harvey was moving strategically in her dating life and she was roster dating. What? Oh, the, the way that she is painting this narrative, like... She's pretty much saying that Lori Harvey is a glorified hoe. Okay, I'm sorry to put it like that, but when you really boil down what she's saying, oh yeah, you know, she she's a strategic type of hoe. You know, she's not just your typical hoe. She's a type that will strategically plot on a man to get his resources, to get his fame, to get his clout, and then she'll dump him and leave her and leave him behind so that she can set her sights on the next best thing. Is that cute to y'all? Being a glorified hoe. That's what y'all are striving to be. And I really can't stress enough, and I even talk about this in my book, Submission is Not the Enemy. So many of you young ladies out there, or women in general out there, y'all really have it in y'all's minds that being submissive is something that is a, a, a bad thing. It's not, right? When you are able to cater to a man, when you're able to pour into a man and love on him and all of that, that actually makes him want to do even more for you because he sees what you are doing for him. Let's be honest. Submission is something that is a beautiful thing that can be utilized by a woman in order to get the best out of her man. Let's be clear. Oh, she's doing this for me. She's pouring this into me. She's ready and willing to, you know, go to, to bats to do that for me. Let me pour more into this woman because the more that I pour into her, the more that she is going to devote herself to me, the more that she is going to cater to me, the more that she is going to tend to my wants, needs, and desires. So ladies, y'all really got to get out of that mentality of, you know, submission is the enemy. It's not. Submission is bad. It's not. You know? Now, what could be argued is, are you submitting to a guy that is, you know, just solely and strictly taking and stripping away from you? That's when it's a problem. But submission in and of itself is not bad. As a matter of fact, it is how you get a man to go above and beyond for you because he sees the type of love and a devotion that you have for him and the things that you're ready and willing to do for him okay and then for again for her to go into the whole you know she's moving strategically and you know she was roster dating like <sighs> let's be clear and let's be honest you all and again let's like the video okay let's get these likes up let's be honest you all 
When a chick like Lori Harvey is seen with a Diddy, a future, do you really believe in your hearts of hearts that she's not getting those cheese clapped? Seriously. Seriously. I'm sorry, but a future type and a Diddy type is not just going on dates. No. They're definitely getting some party favors in the end. So for y'all to really try to paint this narrative or paint this picture of, no, she was just dating, which would kind of imply that, you know, she's just getting to know these men and trying to see which man wins, which best man is suited for the job. That's not, that. this is not that man. And what y'all are essentially doing is promoting for women to be glorified hoes. Yeah, it's okay to be a hoe. Just make sure that you're, you know, being a hoe for the top-notch guys. And again, that's not cute to me at all. You'll end up stuck doing what Lori is doing. Because all of these guys, best believe, and this is my opinion, all of these guys that you are seeing Lori with, oh, the, the goods are getting got. And if you think that these men will take her seriously after knowing that everybody's been up and through that, you're sadly mistaken. No real man of quality, substance, morals, and values is really going to take her seriously at all. And Lori is really setting herself up to be stuck. And so are y'all. Because y'all are trying to do what a Lori Harvey does. And what makes it even worse for y'all is that y'all are not even doing it with the top-notch guys. So you just ran through for nothing. But yeah, like this is this is tragic. I don't like this narrative that it's okay to just be out here being reckless with your body, reckless with all of these different men and, you know, dogging them out. Because after a while, it's only a matter of time before that starts to take a toll on you as a woman, mentally, physically, emotionally, hell, even financially. And nobody whatsoever is going to want to touch you, especially the guys that you really want to be with. So glorifying her in this manner, to me, is just trash. I mean, come on, y'all. Somebody that is seen with Future, you think Future ain't getting them cheeks? Future is the same type of guy, or he is the same guy, that, you know, dished this girl because she was under the impression that he just really wanted to fly her out so they can get to know each other. And when she wasn't on that type of time, as far as getting them cheeks clapped, he said, oh, never mind. Good day, love, enjoy. Like, that's what future is on. The moment that you present to future that you're not trying to see that bedroom in your very near future, he don't want nothing to do with you. He gonna leave your ass in the past. So, let's be honest. Y'all are celebrating a glorified 304. A high price 304. A high pergamous 304. This is what y'all are doing. And y'all think this is cute. Okay, whatever. Woman who was passed around in the entertainment industry. But I think that Lori Harvey was moving strategically in her dating life. In her hoeing life. I'm, I'm sorry. Like the video. And she was roster dating. To roster date means to keep your options open with different suitors and to be receptive of what they have to offer to you without feeling a sense of receiver's guilt. Because as a prize woman, you're not a woman who feels guilty for receiving things. And keeping your options open. Receiving things. No pause. We, we know Lori was receiving a lot of things, which is why, like so many of y'all, she will end up stuck because men that actually have things to give and things to lose and things of substance and value, they, want, they won't 
want her to receive a thing that thing included from her it doesn't mean that you're having sexual intercourse yes it does of course with all of the men on your in her case yes it does and i'm sorry to keep pausing y'all but the way that these chicks today gaslight every damn thing oh you know just because we're dating doesn't mean that we're sleeping with these guys and just because come on you all we are in 2023 a lot of y'all are out here giving up them cakes on them dates stop you may not be smashing all the guys but best believe the ones that you like you giving them cakes up stop y'all think she wasn't getting them cheese clapped by michael b jordan future diddy it, it was just a date no it was just them cakes please stop y'all really be trying to say these hoes like no oh, she's not out here hoeing you know she just roster dated and trying to see what's what's best for her no she not she out here thinking that she's gonna always be able to have these rotation of men and all these selections and she's setting herself up for the ultimate failure Lori is ran through. Stop trying to paint it up. Roster, a man must court you. A man must make an effort to impress you and win you over. And older women who grew up in a different time or even question it themselves. Like you have this particular woman out here who doesn't understand why is Lori Harvey considered for the streets? Okay, so I need you all to help me understand exactly why Lori Harvey is for the streets. I get it that she just had a breakup. I get it that it was pretty public. I get it that it was Michael B. Jordan. However, the messages that women receive, dating women, 20-year-old women, myself as a 40-plus-year-old woman, the message that we are being told is date everyone. May the best man win. So as a 25-year-old woman, I, I want her to date everyone. I want her to have those experiences and learn about who she is before she becomes a wife and a mother. So if y'all could help me out, like drop me a comment and let me know because the coach I am and the woman I am, I don't know that I see a problem. Well, let me enlighten you, man. Okay. And again, y'all like the video, share the video and subscribe. I know the, the, the 304 going to be triggered by my commentary, but it is what it is. It's real talk. It needs to be widespread like the video right now share the video right now and subscribe let me break it down for the big sister right why it is a problem right because she said I, I need to know like what what's wrong with it you know as a 40 plus year old woman i just think that she should do this the the issue is ma'am when it comes to quote unquote dating up today these women are not just dating they're mating okay and so what that does is create this huge terrible disaster for quality women right there are looking for men out there that will take them seriously that wants to get to know them and everything of that sort right because when you got chicks out here like lori busting it wide open just because he got a little bit of money and whatever the case may be, that sets a different standard and tone for the women coming up behind her that are not on the type of time, right? So, for example, and this is just one le level and layer. I'm going to get into the problem with Lori in and of herself in a second. But it creates a domino, terrible effect for all of the women around the chicks like, you know, Lori and otherwise, right? So if you have a Lori Harvey type of chick that's out here busting it open because you took her to a nice fancy restaurant or because, you know, you uh, are popular or you got money, whatever the case may be, and she's not really requiring much outside of that just because of your status, when a, a woman does come along and she really does want to get to know this man and develop a, a true deep connection, he's not really going to want to do that because it's like, you're wasting my time. Don't you know I knocked down a Lori Harvey type? So who are you 
to try to withhold that from me? Who are you for me to try to get to know you better before I do X, Y, and Z? So that can go into a whole different level of a conversation, which makes it problematic. Second of all, okay, when it comes to, once again, Lori, you got to know and understand that she is fumbling quality men as well. Now, when it comes to the future type, the Diddy type, sure, you can write them off. Playboys, players, not, not trying to settle down, not trying to be committed, yeah. But when it comes to Michael B. Jordan's and um, what's the young brother's name we're getting ready to uh, get into, Danzel Idris, when it comes to those type, she has had her pick of quality men that once again would have loved to settle down with her, loved to take her seriously. And so it just creates this disaster to where it's like, damn, even the good men that do want to pursue a woman with serious intentions, with good intentions, y'all even dog them out. And once again, that also creates a terrible domino effect for the other women coming up behind them, right? Because it's like, damn, I'm a good woman. I'm trying to get to know you genuinely you know i'm not just here to um milk you for your money or milk you for your popularity or your status like i, I genuinely want to get to know you now again i understand it's in our nature as women to look for men that can give us stability and security but nonetheless it's a lot of women out there that like you know what those are bonuses those are add-ons but i truly and genuinely want to get to know this man and establish something good and solid with this man first things first because money can come and go, status can come and go, but having a solid bond with a man, that is what is going to keep that relationship thriving and growing forever. But if you have good quality men out here being pretty much taken advantage of and discarded of, that creates this thing in a lot of those good men's minds that maybe all of these women are the same. And so I, I shouldn't take any of them seriously. And again, on Lori's behalf, she's ran through and for the streets because she is, let's be clear, running through all of these different guys. She's not just dating. She's actually throwing away good quality relationships and she's also, you know, having her own little rotation, which again is not cute and becoming on a woman. And it can cast this bad shadow or bad light on, you know, women like her, which would place it in a lot of men's minds that, you know, she is not somebody to be taken seriously. So that's ultimately the issues that I see uh, with Lori Harvey and what she's doing as far as as far as dating around, right? And I and I know how y'all try to paint it up like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. A, a woman should do this. A woman should date around and see what she likes, and you know, choose the best man for the job. Like that's her moving wise. That's that's her being smart, right? But again, that's the gaslighting of it all because y'all already know that is not what's happening in today's time. In today's time, a lot of these chicks are once again giving those cakes up so it's not just a date right also when it comes to the day today's times a lot of those chicks are just trying to use these men right it's not a fair exchange today let's be honest like share comment and subscribe you all it, it is not a fair exchange a lot of these chicks are using these guys up for their resources wasting their damn time wasting their damn money and some of these guys can have genuine interest in these women. But because she's all about the bag and all about the come up, she doesn't really care about that. She doesn't care about his feelings. Doesn't care about wasting his time or his money or his energy. It's all about me because once again, I am the prize. So all the way around, this is problematic, ma'am. And for you to be an older woman and not understand the issue with what Lori Harvey is doing, especially in 2023, when you know damn well these women are not just dating, trying to find a husband. And they're just trying to use these men up. And they giving them damn cakes up. Creating just a disaster for the other women out there that are genuinely just trying to get to know these men and not get a cakes up. Yeah, come on now.
Please stop. Let's continue. And I am. I don't know that I see a problem. And that's a problem. It wasn't but just a few months ago that allegedly she dumped him. But they came out, took a picture, went to an event together, and it was still on. But now Media Takeout is reporting something else. That damn Sinaidris and Lori Harvey are no longer in item. Now, let's get into this, you all. Because this, to me, is the highlight of the whole conversation. Now, is his name Damson? Uh, I believe his name is, yeah, Damson Idris. Damson uh, Idris and Lori Harvey, they dated for quite some time uh, not too long ago, and then they recently broke up. So now what we're seeing is them getting back together, trying to rekindle a flame, and it is in my humble opinion that uh, Lori Harvey got back with Damson because she had no other options. Now, let me explain my stance on this. Hear me out, you all. This is why women should never be like Lori Harvey, because you, you will end up stuck in the streets. All right? Again, going back to what I said earlier, men watch, men take notes, men listen, men talk. And so when you see a chick out there like a Lori Harvey that is just recklessly, quote unquote, dating, okay, whatever. Yeah, I know she mating too. Let, let, hold on, lead it over there. It creates a bad look for her. And again, men care about their image. They care about their lifestyle. They care about their, their lives, their money resources and so i'm pretty sure the issue that lori harvey ran into was the fact that damn i couldn't replace damson hear me out y'all y'all like the video there's some real talking a little bit sis y'all already know that when it comes to um lori that she is the type of chick that will um try to replace the man that she leaves you know what i'm saying like she will she will replace that man oh no um when i leave him i'm on to bigger and better things let's peep the game let's really peep the game lori harvey had all intentions on being able to replace and upgrade when it came to uh, Idris. But what happened was she couldn't. She couldn't replace him. That's what happened. And with her realizing that, it's like, well, damn, I might as well go back to what I know. Because at least I know that with him, you know, he was a cool guy. He was a decent young man, you know. And so I'll be able to just, you know, kind of double back to him at least. Really follow me with this, you all. Lori Harvey is what they would call a social climber, a monkey brancher, right? A hypergamous hoe. Oh, oh, hold on. My bad. I I'm just, I'm just being silly. Don't hold too much against me or on me. These are only my opinions. Be mad at your mama, okay? And so when she left Damson, I'm pretty sure she thought that there would be better suitors out there for her than him. But that didn't happen. So what did she have to do? She had to essentially go back to the nearest person that she knew would take her right and i'm sorry and, and it's all love to damson but damson strikes me as somebody that is just googly eye for any beautiful sexy attractive woman that has given him any kind of play and so it's just like okay well yeah she she she's a cute girl she's sexy a lot of uh men would love to be with her i'll take her back but then what happens? A chick like Lori mm, gets bored. 
let's peep the game. She gets bored. Oh, yeah, this is the same old thing. And I want something bigger and better. And I just refuse to believe that this is the best that I could do. I mean, after all, I'm Lori Harvey. I'm sexy. I'm beautiful. I'm vibrant. I'm a socialite. I'm this. I'm that. I shouldn't have to settle for this. I, I definitely can, can upgrade. Who am I fooling? So her ego probably got the best of her, which caused her to want to go back to the streets thinking that she could again, you know, give it another shot. But I would not be surprised if Lori Harvey finds herself just absolutely stuck, not being able to uh, social climb or be high programmers. I believe Lori Harvey has reached her plateau when it comes to um, finding men of morals and values and standards to settle down with her and take her seriously. Which is, again, why I believe she went back to um, dancing because nobody else was presenting themselves that was better than him. Because, again, a lot of men are peeping game on her. I'll be a fool to take her in. I'll be a fool to uh, take her seriously, to wipe her up, to date her. What do I look like? You know? And so she went back to the most googly-eyed guy that she knew would take her back and that would maybe polish her back up. Cause that's, that's something else that a lot of women will do. A lot of women will also um, become very ran through and tired and try to replace you and everything. And then they'll go back to the guy that made them feel the safest or made them feel the, the prettiest, the, the prettiest or the best. And then once they are built back up to their liking, they'll ditch that man again, which is again, why you should never want to be with a Lori Harvey as well. Right? So not only should women not want to be a Lori Harvey, men should not even want to be with a Lori Harvey because she is somebody that will absolutely use you in my opinion, and then ditch you when she thinks that she can do better than you again. And I believe that's what happened with this. And I would not be surprised if once again, Lori Harvey ends up stuck, stuck in them streets, stuck in the rotation, stuck begging for a good man. And here's the catch to it all. These women have been presented with great men, but did they want them? No. What ends up happening is they get older, they hit their late thirties, early forties or mid forties. And now they're like, oh, I'm, I'm ready to settle down and, you know, I'm ready to be serious and I'm ready to get this done and have that and have this. And again, they're stuck because no man trusts them. No man wants to really take a chance on them or with them because they see her as a liability. So be careful, ladies. You do not want to be like Lori Harvey. Anyway. Y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Would you date Lori Harvey? Y'all let me know, okay? Maybe I'm wrong, okay? Maybe I'm absolutely wrong and men would still wipe her up. Y'all let me know in the comments, um, but I just don't see that happening. As a matter of fact, I see Lori Harvey ending up like a lot of these Young, vibrant things that were hot back in the day. Vivica Fox, anybody? Lisa Ray, anybody? And then just hoping and, and praying and begging for a man to just touch them. You know, trying to go back to their old flings because they know that they messed up and fumbled and got humbled. But y'all let me know. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.